Papua New Guinea's Prime Minister James Maripere. With the latest press release, as of today, Thursday, the 11th of January, 2024. Uh, this is an important uplink and a press release to inform our country at the, at the backdrop of what happened yesterday, the unfortunate incident of uh, uh, lawlessness that permeated our city. Uh, started off with ill-discipline for members of our disciplined forces. Uh, they had a uh, general cause of concern. There are formal ways to address these concerns, but uh, it was taken out of uh, uh, context, uh, out of scale, and that created and exacerbated the situation where our people resorted to uh, lawlessness. Uh, not all, but a few parts of our city uh, faced uh, uh, duress, stress, rioting, and lawlessness. But I just want to also thank from the outset uh, the good citizens of our country. Uh, today we saw a uh, bubble almost uh, bursting, so to speak, but the greater resource of citizens to bring back normalcy uh, prevail in our city and prevail in our country. I just want to say thank you very much to the greater majority of Papua New Guineans uh, in all parts of our country who were able to put in great restraint against social media encouragements, against negative spins that rioting, protest, destruction, looting must be the way to go to achieve a certain outcome. Whatever the outcome is by those who are spinning, those in the public domain. I want to say thank you very much to every citizen. Uh, last night was stressful, I could understand uh, when situations got out of hand, uh, they were looting in, in certain parts of our city, uh, but also in the midst of those lootings, good news emerged. Uh, certain members of our community also tried their very best uh, to protect and to stop the spread of what happened uh, yesterday. And I want to thank the greater part of our country who allowed goodness to prevail in the midst of what could have been an ugly situation yesterday and today. I want to also say thank you very much to members of the Royal Papua New Constabulary uh, right across the length and breadth of our country. Of course, there were issues here with the Port Mosby based, the command in, in the uh, uh, National Capital District and Central Command. There was an apparent breakdown but the greater resolve of uh, uh, members of our PLG Royal Constabulary nationwide uh, must be commended. I would thank the Lake Command. I thank all other regional commands who were able to step fast to their uniform, to their uh, loyalty and oath of office. Uh, they were able to ensure our country didn't uh, see spread of lawlessness, spread of protest and spread of contest. I want to thank members of parliament. Uh, today uh, they came big especially ministers of cabinet. Uh, we sat long uh, into the day. We did await the National Security Advisory uh, uh, Council uh, to convene. They did convene. They offered recommendation to the National Security uh, uh, Committee, uh, National Security Council rather. Uh, we convened and a recommendation was proposed under cabinet paper and cabinet just concluded in a, a, a decision, a decision that were made by cabinet and I want to read out the decisions that we made today uh, up in cabinet and I have cabinet ministers here with me to uh, 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 give the country confidence that it was a decision made in totality. Uh, using provisions of our uh, constitution, section 2 to 6, today we call for a state of emergency for 14 days in our nation's capital. Uh, there were recommendations for outside forces to come in or for us to end, uh, seek help elsewhere but we decide that the, under the provisions of our, our section 2 to 6 of our constitution, as well as the uh, constitutional provision that we utilized yesterday to, to get police to come in, section 204 of our constitution, to get defense to come in to assist our police uh, in the call out. Uh, we thought uh, this is sufficient for the moment. We have uh, over a thousand uh, men from defense force ready on standby to come in and work under state of emergency laws uh, within the next 14 days to step in wherever necessary to contain uh, uh, contain any situations that may arise going forward into the future. Uh, uh, Acting Deputy Commissioner of Police, uh, uh, Mr. Yamasombi, was appointed controller and in the same appointment, the Commissioner of Police was suspended for, uh, for 14 days until we get in the same period where the state of emergency is run. Uh, we have appointed Chief Secretary of State as well as Secretary of the Department of Justice. Uh, we'll assemble a team of five to conduct a holistic review as, as to what happened yesterday. Administrative review as well as the administrative review will uh, give uh, room for uh, criminal investigation also into 
uh, conduct that did, took place yesterday, I want to inform the country. There were evidence of organized writing that took place yesterday. Yes. Uh, evidence of organized writing that took place yesterday. Where that organized person came from, uh, that investigation will ascertain. Uh, whilst the police uh, in general had a genuine cause of concern, uh, in, there were organized people behind the scene who organized writing. Uh, and that started the entire process. We look into where that organization and where that support came from. Uh, full administrative as well as uh, criminal investigation will take place to go through this one. State of emergency will be under the command of uh, Deputy Police Commissioner, now Acting Police Commissioner Yamasumbi. Uh, we've also in the same decision appointed uh, AC, Assist, Assistant Police Commissioner Samson Kua to step up to Acting Deputy Police Commissioner Special Operations uh, and he will assume the role that uh, Deputy Commissioner uh, Yamasumbe uh, used, to, used, to, used to occupy. Uh, in the same decision we also asked for us to do a holistic review. We've suspended Finance Secretary, we've suspended Treasury Secretary, we've suspended Department of Personal Management Secretary. It is not good enough. Operating agencies do not get to work proper that has caused us distress or that has given us distress. And in the process, uh, Deputy Secretary Uwari at the Treasury uh, becomes Acting Secretary Treasury, uh, Deputy Secretary Nukutu becomes Acting Secretary Finance, and uh, Deputy Secretary uh, for, for uh, DPM uh, uh, Public Service Minister, are you here? <laughs> Deputy Secretary Vela becomes Acting Secretary for Department of Personal Management and uh, as the heads of this agency's uh, department step aside, the next 14 days, the administrative review into what tech took place, including look at police, look at treasury, looking at uh, finance, looking at uh, personal management will kick in. So we uh, ensure this sort of thing does not happen again, but more importantly, we secure democracy, we secure rule of law, we secure good administration of respective public service organizations, including uh, our disciplined forces, so that this sort of thing does not happen again. This is not the first time members of our disciplined forces have gone rogue. Uh, we had one attack in 2018 on our national parliament. Uh, we had uh, incidents of past where uh, sporadic incidents of ill-discipline in our police force, in our defense force, in our CIS, as well as public services taken place. Uh, I want to indicate to our country, uh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. And uh, we will get to work. Uh, if you're a disciplined force member, all I am mobilizing grade 12 students to be trained to take a place if you step out of line. There are enough grade 12 graduates in our country who are looking for jobs. There are enough university students in our country who are looking for jobs. There are enough college graduates in our country who are looking for jobs. You have sworn your loyalty to the oath. There are ways to deal with grievances. You don't get out under three and protest. Uh, that is not the way disciplined forces should operate. Today I would be charging, and later today I'll be charging the uh, State of Emergency Controller, Yamasumbi, to restore order in our police force once and for all. Restore order in our police force once and for all. We're ready to unbundle over 500 policemen. We have start, we've trained the nine months into training the Bomana right now. This will be unbundled and placed into areas we feel discipline has caused redundancy or discipline has created poison vacancies. And I, I just want to appeal to every one of you, go back to work, listen to order, respond to directions from your uh, superior, and let's bring our country back to normalcy. We have enough of rogue elements in our system for too long. I uh, don't think James Marov is going anywhere. Yesterday when this place was under almost house arrest, I wasn't running away, I wasn't showing any penny, I was here every step of the way. And you're dealing with this man. You're not dealing with anyone. I'm not going to run out from this place. Yeah. You want to change government? Change it on the floor of parliament. Yeah. Not using my people to create law, to create lawlessness and recklessness. Uh, this is the way it should be. We'll be ordering a full investigation into sponsors of what took place just yesterday. At the department head level, we're making those suspensions and investigation will run its course. And everyone who have committed an offense under our country's laws will pay the price for the offenses that they've created. All right, thank you very much. That's all for today.